Hey guys, how's it going? Now we live in the modern world, and everyone is getting faster and faster internet speeds. Maybe it's a faster broadband, or maybe it's a faster mobile data that you're using as a hotspot, and then connecting your Windows PC to it, or whatever. The big point remains that you need fast internet on your Windows PC. However, there is a possibility that despite your plan being of the highest speeds, you are not getting the maximum speeds on your PC. So how do you fix that? By watching this video. This is one from Dining Tech, and in today's video, I'll show you not one, not two, but nine super easy ways to fix your internet speed issues and get the maximum internet speed on your Windows PC. So without wasting any time, let's just jump right into it. All right, so the first thing that you need to do is to ensure that you have your metered connections turned off. To do that, open the Start menu and open Settings. Now, navigate to Network and Internet tab and then go to Wi-Fi. Click on your Wi-Fi network to open its properties. Now, turn off the metered connection option. Alternatively, if you're using a LAN connection, you can follow the same steps over there as well. Next up, this might sound stupid, but Windows has become smart. Finally, I mean, it's always becoming smarter and smarter day by day, but regardless, it has become quite smart nowadays to the point where the troubleshooter actually works. Basically, if you're facing any sort of internet issues on Windows 11, just run the internet connection troubleshooter. To do that, open the start menu and then type troubleshoot settings and then press enter. Go to other troubleshooters. Now, locate and run the internet connections troubleshooter. And that's it. Windows will probably fix all the issues for you automatically. All right, now one thing that happens is that, well, Windows update runs in the background. However, if Windows update is using a lot of your data in the background, of course, you will get slower internet speeds for whatever app you're running at the front of your screen because there's a lot of data being used in the background. So a good way is to just, well, set lower bandwidth limits for the Windows update. Press the Windows key plus I to open settings. Now switch to the Windows update tab and open advanced options. Under additional options, go to delivery optimization. Here, turn off the allow downloads from other PCs options. Now, open advanced options. Under the download settings, select absolute bandwidth and mark both the checkboxes to limit bandwidth allocation while downloading updates. Now, define how much bandwidth you should allocate for it. Alternatively, you can also select the percentage of the measured bandwidth option and use the sliders to allocate bandwidth for downloading updates. Speaking of which, Windows Update is not the only process that will be consuming your internet speeds or your internet data in the background. There are plenty of other processes that might be using your internet speeds. So you might be experiencing slow speeds on the app that you're trying to run, when in reality, you are getting the same speed, but it's just being shared across multiple apps. The best way to fix that is to just, well, close down those background apps. To do that, press the Control plus Shift plus Escape keys to launch the Task Manager. Now switch to the Performance tab and click on Open Resource Monitor at the bottom. Now under the Network tab, identify the process using a large amount of data. Right click on it and end process from the list. Similar to this, you can also try disabling some of the background apps that might be using your data. To do that, press the Windows plus I keys to open the Settings app. Now switch to the Apps tab to open the Apps and Features section. Now scroll down to locate the app you wish to disable. Click on the three dot icon next to it and open advanced options. Now under background apps permission, use the drop down menu to select never. Now another thing that you can do to fix your network issues is to just update your network card drivers. Click on the search icon from the taskbar, type in device manager and press enter. Now expand the network adapter and right click on the Wi-Fi driver to select update driver. Alternatively, if you're using a LAN connection, right click on that and then click on the update driver. Now just follow the on-screen instructions to update the network driver for your Windows PC. Now another thing that might be causing issues with your internet speeds is the DNS server. See, usually a lot of ISPs use custom DNS servers that well take a lot of time to look up URLs and basically slow down your internet speeds. As such, it's always a good option to use OpenDNS or Google DNS as they are better and faster alternatives and basically promise you faster internet speeds. To change the DNS server on your PC, first press the Windows plus R keys to launch the run dialog. Now type in ncpa.cpl and press enter. Now in the network connection window that opens up, right click on your internet connection and select properties. Now double click IPv4 settings to open its properties. Now under the general tab, select the use the following DNS server addresses. Now in the preferred DNS server and alternate DNS server, enter 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 respectively. Alternatively, you can also use 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1. Now another thing that might be slowing down your internet speeds are well, the VPN that you're using. Chances are that you're just using a random crappy VPN to 
think of protecting your privacy but in reality you are just slowing down your internet speeds as such just try disabling the vpn momentarily to check and see if that resolves your issue now if that fixes it there's a possibility that you're using a poor vpn Want a good recommendation? Check out this video over here where I'm talking about the best free VPNs for your Windows PC. Now welcome. Lastly, if all of else fails, the best thing that you can do is to reset your network settings. Basically start from scratch, you know, and let Windows figure things out and hopefully it will just fix everything. To do that, press the Windows plus I keys to launch the settings. Now click on the network and internet tab on your left and open advanced network settings. Now under more settings, click on network reset. Lastly, click on the reset now button next to Netflix reset. And that's it. Restart your PC and then run a quick speed test to check if your internet speed has improved. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Vaughn from Kiting Tech and I'll see you in the next one.